We're at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium where tonight first place is on the line in the North Bay League. It's a great matchup for you. The top ranked team in the Redwood Empire, Windsor taking on Cardinal Newman and for the first time in a long time, Cardinal Newman and Montgomery not the favorite in the NDL. It's the Windsor Jaguars. Can they come to the table and hold on to first place tonight? We're about to find out. Hello, everyone. I'm Gabe Cox along with Ron Weedy. And uh, the Windsor Jaguars were the favorite coming into the season. So far, they've delivered 2-0 in NBL play, 11-3 overall. This is a team that is loaded with senior talent. Can Cardinal Newman hang with them tonight? That's the question. Dave, I don't know if they can handle them, but eyes they have outside shooting they shoot the three ball at a high percentage they have parker Canada who is amazing off the dribble inside uh this is a very talented team but cardinal newman is a team that holds their opponent to 40 points a game they'll get after you defensively they go deep into the bench and they have connor rubicino back and uh last week for windsor parker Kennedy had a great game they blew out the Panthers in the first quarter was a big reason why he got off to a great start. Yeah, he's tough on the defensive end. He'll run the floor. He can handle in the open court, and he can absolutely fly to the hoop. He's averaging 13.6 points per contest, four rebounds a game, and there he is hitting that jumper from the corner, looking like Bob McAdoo of the Buffalo Braves sticking his legs up, and he's got great body control down low. He's going to be a tough assignment for Cardinal Newman here tonight. I think if they can control him, keep him under his average, it'll really give them an advantage to win this basketball game. On the other hand, Winter, they are just they're loaded with talent. They have five seniors at the start. They're averaging 60 points a game. They shoot the ball from the outside. Nate, Tucker, they both can shoot the ball very well. Knight and Tucker. The good news for Cardinal Newman last week, Connor Rubitino was back from his knee injury. His first game back, and he had a pretty good game against Rancho Gattati. Poured in 13 points, but they really need him to hang with Windsor because he gives them the offensive firepower that they need. Yeah, he gives them that dynamic from outside. You, as you remember, if you've been watching YSN 365, last year we had coined him uh, Big Shot Bob because of all the great shots he made from outside. But, of course, he hurt his knee during football season. His first game back, he scores 13 points against Rancho Katati. The outside shooting is going to be key. But also on the defense, they need Dove, McCarthy, and also Doolittle to get after the defense, pressure the perimeter, and block out on the defensive boards. All right, so the big first test of the season in league play for Windsor coming up. You know they're going to try to go up-tempo and try to wear down the Cardinals. They've got the guys that can do that. Travis Taylor has his team flying high. Here's Curtis Johnson with the slam against Santa Rosa. They hope to do a lot more of that tonight here at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. It's Windsor and Cardinal Newman coming up next. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply, delivering quality for over 40 years. My friends and I were driving to the Salt Lake Airport to fly to a music teacher's conference when our tires started going flat. We called the Les Schwab in Ogden, Utah, and they said, Come on in. They were so fast, we didn't even eat the free popcorn. There you go. And we even made our flight. In a world where such great customer service is not always the case, it's nice to know there's Les Schwab. I'm Bonnie Lamborn, and that's my Les Schwab story. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3, and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. Are you searching for a great high school experience? Cardinal Newman is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts, and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org. Featuring the crispiest, crunchiest, most delicious, and healthy snack around. Watch out, potato chips. Things are about to get wild. 
available in Sonoma County at Oliver's Market, G&G, &G, and Molesberries. One Saturday night, someone went through town slashing tires. Sunday morning, one of Andy Spencer's customers at Les Schwab went to Andy's house to see if he could help. You got it. Andy got in his truck and drove up and down the streets, helping anyone who needed it. He worked at it pretty hard most of the day. That's all of them. Andy didn't tell anybody no. He really went above and beyond his duties as a manager and a neighbor. I'm James Hamilton, and that's my Les Schwab story. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. Nice big crowd here tonight at Cardinal Newman High School at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. It is a red out as proclaimed by the ASB students at Cardinal Newman. Of course, another thing going on this year, again, is the battle of the fans as we get set to take a look at the starting lineups. There you see Windsor, all seniors, and a very good skill position, guys. Gabe Nate uh, leads the team in scoring, but Brent Tucker's a guy that can light you up any given night. We saw what Curtis Johnson can do on the open floor. They are a very good basketball team. And for Cardinal Newman on the other side, they are glad to have Connor Rubitino back. Of course, Damian Wallace is still out and will miss the season. Bennett Coha, just a sophomore, he'll be tested tonight for sure. And then they're gonna go with Jalen Durrell, and it's now time for our national anthem. say Cardinal Newman or Montgomery. I think it's been 27 out of the last 30 years it's been either Newman or Montgomery that's won the NBL and uh, Travis Taylor has his Jags playing good basketball they have the talent uh, they have a lot of pieces of the puzzle and that's the thing that makes them tough to defend you got to kind of pick your poison they've got great outside shooting they've got Kennedy who can inside Curtis Johnson who can run the floor and dunk on you yeah this is a team that uh, comes in with an 11-3 record They've won five of the last six. They're 2-0 and in league day. And in their last two games, victories over Santa Rosa and Yakaya, they've scored 23 and 25 points in the first quarter. So Cardinal Newman's going to have to do a great job on maintaining and staying within striking distance in this first quarter. Get a hand in the face and contest the three-point shot. And Newman goes over and back on their first possession after winning the tip. So Windsor now will have the basketball to start things off. On the defensive end for Cardinal Newman, you're going to see them play man-to-man -man the entire game. They're not going to play any zone. They'll pick up in the half court or in the full court, but you'll never see them go to the zone in this contest. Curtis Johnson gets it up top to Brent Tucker. Now back to Johnson. Gabe Knight being guarded closely by Doral, but Curtis Johnson bangs the three to start the night off, and Windsor takes the early lead. Well, if Johnson's going to hit the outside shot in addition to Tucker and Knight, He's going to pose a real problem for Cardinal Newman. Seth Doolittle and Chase Knowles slaps it away. Windsor is very scrappy. you got to be careful with the basketball because they'll poke it away from you, they'll run the court, and like we saw in the open, they'll dunk on you. And you've got five seniors playing together. These guys know each other. They've grown up together. They've played basketball together. You can't underestimate, underestimate the chemistry on defense that these guys have. Bennett Cohut dribbling up top, gets it over to Seth Doolittle. 
Doolittle's had some great games for this team. Very good defender. And Gavin Dove gets inside and scores. Dove is a very capable scorer for them inside and uh, gives them a little bit of strength down low. Well, you love the fact that he spun inside, gathered himself. He was under control when he shot that ball. Windsor scrapping for the ball. It's a jump ball. The possession arrow favors the Jags. Real important these first couple of minutes for Cardinal Lumen. They've got to kind of prove to Windsor that they're not going to go away and maybe get the Jags to tighten up a little bit and get out of their comfort zone. Dave, well, you really even notice, even with Rubitino out on the floor, the advantage, the height advantage that Windsor has. And Tucker nails his first shot. It's a three. Two for two from beyond the arc to start the night off for the Windsor Jags. Seth Doolittle guarded by Kennedy. That's a key matchup tonight, both ends of the floor. Doolittle, not a huge score, but he does get his points, and he's very good defender. He has long arms. Yeah, very long arms. He leads his team with blocks, and um, he's going to be important out here on the floor tonight. Windsor in a man-to-man -man defense. It's extended all the way out in between the circles here, Dave. They're putting pressure on Cardinal Newman, daring him to get to the basket. Rubitino's first shot of the night, and he rattles the rim and scores. A score is a score, and yeah, Rubitino. Yeah, I want to see him run up and down the floor. Look at him laboring with that left leg right there. Yeah, definitely difficult for him to get up and down, and that's the thing that the Jags are going to try to exploit. You can bet they want to run as much as possible tonight. But Gabe Knight strong to the rack. As Windsor shows all the weapons here early on. So far we've seen Johnson, we've seen Tucker, we've seen Knight. We haven't seen Kennedy yet, but you can bet he'll get into the act soon. No, oh, he's just laying and waiting. But uh, I spoke to Rubitino prior to the game. He had surgery on that knee and had some cartilage taken out down low. He said it feels pretty good, but it gets tired as he goes through the game. Gavin Dove up top. 10 seconds to shoot for the Cardinals. Jalen Drow finds Rubitino way beyond the arc, and it's off the front rim. Kennedy has the rebound. You just wonder how that affects his shot when he goes to lift from the jump. It didn't look like to me that his normal elevation on his shot was there. There's Gabe Knight, tough job trying to get inside. Drow corrals it for the Cardinals. Interesting that leading score Cody Baker is not starting tonight. He'll come off the bench. Coach Bonfili choosing Doral in order to try to give Gabe Knight a tougher matchup. Doolittle back out to Rubitino, guarded there by Johnson. Kohut. Cardinals have just five to shoot. Doolittle will try to get it off, and Kennedy blocks the shot. They're running the floor, but Rubitino somehow gets a hand up on that, preventing the dunk. Curtis Johnson off the mark. There's Parker Kennedy. Tucker trying to corral it. Doolittle tips it out, and Chase Knowles will end up chasing it down way out up top. Both teams competing just like we thought in this contest. Both teams are undefeated in league with 2-0. The winner comes out on top and will be leading the league with a victory tonight. Backdoor cut by Gabe Knight. Doesn't get it, but he somehow tips it up and in. Very alert play right there, and very uh, good job of knowing where he was around the basket by Gabe Knight. 10 to 4, wins her by 6. Cardinals getting ready to sub three players in. Well, Cardinal Newman scored four points in the game so far. They got to continue to move the basketball and look for open shots. Rubitino in and out. There's Tucker with the rebound. Look at the Jags, Kennedy, no way you're gonna stop that. And Parker Kennedy lays it in, it's a 12-4 run. And Coach Bonfili wants a timeout. It's a 30. So wins are showing exactly why they are the favorite right here, doing it inside, doing it outside, running the floor. Yeah, the outside shot by Johnson, Tucker. Gabe Knight getting to the basket. He can take you off the dribble. Here's the set. Uh, See, Windsor right and Newman are sitting at 2-0. and oh. When was the last time there was somebody other than Newman or Montgomery? Piner, 2005, was the last champion other than Montgomery or Newman. There was a three-way tie in 2008 with Newman, Creo, and Piner. Back when Piner was in the NBL. Yes. 
Coach Erickson. Well, you trailed by eight. You're in the first quarter. There's 3.43 to go. If you're Cardinal Newman, you got to settle down. Rubicino's out of the game. you got to work the offense. you got to move the basketball. And you got to get Roberts to the offensive glass for an easy putback if there's a miss. Cody Baker gets his first three. Baker, who leads the team with 13 points a game, comes right in and nails the three. Newman with wholesale substitution. Roberts, McCarthy also checked in with Trevin Anderson Soria. So four new Cardinals on the floor. Yeah, and Baker also leading the team in steals and assists. So a huge contributor on this basketball team for Cardinal Newman. There's the outside shot. Squares it up, lines it up. Parker Kennedy can't get there, and he drains it. Gabe Knight at the free throw line. He has five already. Yeah, when you're talking about Gabe Knight, you're talking about a senior, one of five senior starters, 18.7 points, seven rebounds a game. This guy can light it up. Yeah, when he gets hot, he is definitely the most elusive scorer in this county. Rubitino's a good matchup for him, but you gotta wonder, you know, about his strength and stamina. There's Chase Knowles trying to go for the layup, and Trevin Anderson Soria disrupts the shot. Very close to a foul call. Seven point lead for the Jags here in the first quarter. Three minutes to play. I like the fact that, uh, that Windsor was pushing the ball as soon as they got the turnover, though. Get to the basket, try to get scores in transition. Watch out for Kennedy. Parker Kennedy with an easy lay-in off the inbound. They kind of cleared everybody away from him, let him go one-on-one -on -one with McCarthy, and he got to the rack. One thing you know about Kennedy from last year, he, he really filled out. He's got a lot more muscle. I wonder how many pounds he's gained this year. Gabe Knight with the rebound. He dribbles it up the floor, and Cody Baker takes it away. Nice steal right there for Cody Baker. Kohut back out to McCarthy, and now Baker. It's like the strategy for Bonfili is to try to keep fresh legs on the floor as much as possible. Yeah, he was saying that uh, prior to the game tonight when I was speaking to him, that he was just going to shuffle a lot of guys in and out and try to wear down the Jaguars as the game evolves. Baker tries to beat the shot clock, and he does! <laughs> Cody Baker has two threes. And there's a steal and a lay-in. Trevin Anderson Soria. My goodness. Well, Cardinal Newman has played three games here at home. And they've won all three. So, so far, they're undefeated in the league and undefeated at home. That pulls Cardinal Newman to within four. Gabe Knight, nice job offensively. As Knight now has eight points. And it puts the lead back up to six. When they're coming around on that screen, on that motion offense, you got to get in front of them. You cannot let them beat you off the, off the cut there to the basket. Chase Knowles tries to tap it away, but it goes right to Baker. Gabe Knight with a nice rebound. He has three boards. Gabe Knight really a guard, but he's got the size, in, at least in high school, to be a forward. Certainly has the leaping ability and the rebounding ability to play that position. There's Knight. He's so good with the ball off the dribble. Yeah, and you can you can see Coach Bonfili has gone to Roberts and also Anderson. Uh, yeah, Roberts gives him there. the wide body down there. He was, of course, uh, lineman for the football team. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Trevin Anderson Soria guarded closely by Parker Kennedy. Kohut trying to turn it over. Rubitino trying to check in, but action hasn't stopped for a while. Trevin Anderson, sorry, a little strong off the glass. Rebound goes to Chase Knowles, who somehow got that board. And now Windsor will hang on for the final shot of the quarter, leading by six. Knowles brings it up. Parker Kennedy now, left wing, guarded by Roberts. 20 seconds to go. Watch Knowles off the dribble, and then kicking it out to either Tucker or Knight. 10 seconds. Knowles looking to initiate the offense. Under five now, Tucker looking for an opening, and he travels with point nine to go. Might have had Knight on the backdoor cut. I think that was his initial idea, but he didn't really think he had enough time, so he pulled up. 
Yeah, and, and he did travel. It was right, right in front of us here. Kane Santos guarding Rubitino, who gets off the shot. Boy, and anytime you see him twist and leap like that, you have to wonder about his knee. 18 to 12, Newman after one. We'll take a break right here and be back with the start of quarter number two. The Jags leading it by six. For AAU basketball at its best, it's Express Basketball Club, the place for young players to learn the fundamentals and advanced skills for high school and beyond. Kerry Heiner has been helping local student athletes develop strength and speed for sports performance for over 20 years. If you're trying to get to the next level for club, varsity, college, or pro sports, contact Kerry Heiner now at 583-5720. Real results, real fast. Looking to buy or sell Wine Country Ranch and Vineyard property? Vice Properties, with over 75 years of combined experience, can make it happen. Vice Properties specializes in North Bay Ranch and Vineyard properties with in-depth local knowledge and relationships unparalleled in wine country. Vice Properties can also help with commercial, investment, and residential properties. We know the market. Let us help you get the best deal possible. Call Vice Properties today or go to viceproperties.com. All right, so here we go. Start of the second quarter, 18 to 12, Windsor over Cardinal Newman. I thought Cardinals. it was really impressive for Cardinal Newman the way they fought back into the game. Windsor came out, had a lot of momentum, hit some outside threes, got to the basket with Knight. But Cardinal Newman fought back into the game, Dave, and I think it was really impressive the way they battled back. Riley Smith on the picks season. up the foul. He just yep. checked into the game. He is a sophomore. Moved into the area from Fort Bragg. Him and his brothers. Brothers on JV. They're twins, actually, and they're both good-sized players, excellent ball players. Yeah, his brother's good, too. Gavin Dove gets one of two, making a five-point game. Windsor averages 60 points a contest. Cardinal Newman holds their opponents to 40. The Jaguars at 18 in that first quarter, Dave, so they're on track for 62. Cardinal Newman's going to have to do a little bit better job of holding them down and scoring the ball. Curtis Johnson a little strong. Long rebound, and Seth Doolittle wins the battle for that. Cardinals within five, so they have proven that they can score and hang in there. Got a couple of stops last few down, times down the floor. Rubitino works his way away. With, and there's Cody Baker, he nails another one. Wow. So he faked the three, throw Smith, and then drained it. That was impressive. Cardinals within two. Gabe Knight settles for Tucker up top. Tucker guarded by Rubitino. Riley Smith stolen by Doolittle. Cardinals can tie or take the lead. One thing Coach Bonfili says about his Cardinal Newman Cardinals is they're scrappy, they work super hard out there on the floor, and it shows with their energy getting into the passing lanes and coming up with steals. Doolittle, guy who doesn't take a lot of threes, tries one right there. Jack's trying to regain momentum now. And Cardinal Newman, extended man-to-man -man defense. They have to be careful of the cuts through the lane, though. That's where they've been getting hurt. Kennedy blocked by Doolittle. Wow. Seth Doolittle skies for that one. Talked about his long arms. There they are. Doolittle weaving his way down the lane. Pump fake, spin, and he travels. Yeah, it was a nice idea. He got in the lane, he penetrated, he got down there low, but he did drag that foot as he tried to make an adjustment getting to the basket. So important for Cardinal Newman, not only to gain confidence themselves against Windsor, but to prove to the Jags that they're not invincible. Yeah, well, the one comparison that I like to make in, in the teams that they played is Los Lomas. Because Cardinal Newman beat Los Lomas by eight points, and Windsor lost to them by five. So that's a one comparison. You know, Cardinal Newman can still hang in this. And they're at home. They've got the home. home advantage here and uh, they're undefeated here at home so I'd imagine they're going to remain tough in this game. There's Tucker. Got it. Big shot right there to get the momentum back. Brent Tucker such a great shooter and 
And on any other team where he didn't have Gabe Knight playing alongside of him, he might, might be a 15 to 20 point per night guy. Doug yeah, well, they're willing to share the basketball and share the scoring and the responsibility out there. And, and team chemistry, that's the only way you're going to really win basketball games. If you go ahead and just do, you know, one-on-one -on -one or you're looking for you're looking for individual stats rather than the scoreboard, you're going to end up not winning as many games. So I like what Tucker does, Knight. They've all bought into the system here for Coach Taylor, and uh, they're playing very well. They have a five-point lead here in the second quarter, and they're playing good defense as well. Rubicino off the inbound. And there's Tucker coming down with another board. He has two rebounds so far. Big rebounding advantage right now for Windsor, and they lead by five. Gabe Knight off the mark. There's Cody Baker. Well, one thing Coach Taylor wants for the Windsor Jaguars is for to run a good offense and get a quality shot. I think for Knight on that last one, that's still a quality shot for him. He can make that up to 28 feet. He's, he's pretty comfortable with that. Yeah, I've seen him hit some long outside yeah. shots yeah, we sure have. the last couple years. Yeah. Here comes Cody Baker now, guarded by Brent Tucker. Notice Cardinal Newman slowed the momentum down. Windsor came out, and they had all the momentum in the first quarter. Rubitino takes the shot clock way down and gets fouled by Johnson, so he'll shoot three free throws. Yeah, he's taking a couple of threes tonight. I still think, you know, when you, ha when you have a weaker leg and you don't, you're not uh, as in good of physical condition uh, and he's shooting that shot, I just don't think he's getting the same amount of lift, and I think it's affecting his three-point shot. You can see his free throws look really smooth, but you're not using your legs as much. You're not shooting that jump shot. And he's not a guy that shoots a set shot like a Stephen Curry shoots off the dribble. He shoots that jump shot normally when he shoots the basketball. And the one thing he could do while his knee was rebounding was shoot free throws and things like that. I was speaking to Connor Rubitino prior to the game talking about his knee, Dave, and, and he said he had received a, a text that uh, today from Justin Pateri, who's now over at the University of Nevada, and I get to watch him over there because I'm up in Lake Tahoe, said he got a text from him, and he said one of the players from Marin Catholic was being recruited to UNR, so Connor was very interested in that. Two out of three for Rubitino. He has four points. 21-18, Windsor as Chase Knowles brings it up the floor. Parker Kennedy will try a three over Roberts, no good. Roberts trying to muscle the ball away from Kennedy, but it's tied up. The possession arrow favors the Jazz. Yeah, you, you might get a jump ball, but you're not going to take the ball from Roberts. No. <laughs> Ain't going to happen. <laughs> uh, I think there's a better chance of the ball deflating. Yeah, yeah. Knowles gets it over to Kennedy. Gabe Knight now back to Tucker, who's not afraid to fire that one up, and there's Rubitino. Yeah, I'd like to see him penetrate a little more, penetrate, draw, and dish, and then look for the outside open guy. Just draw and kick, draw and kick, and cut. They've had, they were having great success cutting off of the ball. Behind the back it goes. Cody Baker a little strong. And a push, uh, Chase Knowles got caught pushing Jalen Doral from behind. It's the sixth team foul against Windsor. Newman's only committed one team foul so far. Yeah, Doral had great position underneath and uh, just a little push in the back. It wasn't much of one, but, but it was a push. So that's two fouls on Chase Knowles. Yeah, Baker's going to sit down, but how about Baker's first half so far for Cardinal Newman? Rubitino, no good. There's Gabe Knight, and Knight is fouled by Rubitino in the backcourt. Not a bad move, because Windsor was going to get an easy basket. They had numbers at the other end. Yeah, and I think Rubitino saw him. He was going to break. And uh, one thing, if you sit out and you have an injury, you don't have the same conditioning, so you can't get up and down the floor. Your legs are going to give out a little bit sooner, so I'm sure Coach Pontfield is going to watch Rubitino's minutes. I'd like to see Knight or Tucker take something off the dribble get to the basket. Also, Santos is in there. He has the ability to take you off the dribble as well. 
And a travel. That is the fourth turnover by Windsor. Newman's only turned it over twice. The one thing that's for sure, you know when you play Newman, they're going to be on you. You're not going to get a lot of open shots. And so far, Windsor hasn't been able to get the steal and the lane at the other end. I think on one time they've been able to really run the floor. Well, four and a half minutes into the second quarter, Windsor's only scored three points in this quarter. Yeah. So Cardinal Newman's doing exactly what they need to do, slow the game down, be very deliberate on offense, play really good sound defense, and block out on the boards. Bennett Kohut, almost a five-second call, and then Jalen Rao dribbles out of bounds. Kohut was looking for help. I think Coach Marfili was a little hesitant to use one of his remaining timeouts right there. Yeah, Doolittle in, and Roberts is going to take a seat, so they're going to have a little less size, a little more height, and a little more quickness out on the floor. They're going to steep, still, still get in the passing lanes, but I'd still like to see Windsor do some penetrating and dishing, trying to get the ball inside. Don't settle for the outside shot. Riley Smith on the floor for Windsor, guarded by Rubitino. He finds Knight cutting to the rack. And he gets fouled from behind by Doral. Exactly what I was thinking about. Kick, take a work off of a pick, try to get the ball inside, cut to the basket, and hit the open man on the way to the hoop. Great pass by Smith. He's left-handed too, but he uses left hand on that pass, and that was that was really effective ball movement right there. Knight completes the three-point play, and just like that, it's a six-point game. Gabe Knight with the old-fashioned. He'll take a seat. Okay, so Windsor's going to go to the full-court press here to see if Cardinal Newman can handle the basketball and, and get it up the court. They had a little trouble with this press in the Windsor shootout championship game against Dublin. Dublin was able to not only beat the press, but get a couple of quick, easy baskets in a row. Kohut having trouble getting it up the floor, but he does keep his composure and get it across the timeline. Here's Doolittle now. Connor McCarthy, nice pass. There's nothing like big to big passing on the inside. It's so beautiful, a nice little bounce pass and laying it in. You just gotta keep sharing the basketball, look for the open man, and get the easy basket. Santos well off the mark, and Doolittle comes down with the rebound. Our officials tonight, Dane DiMatte and Joe Harris, two of the best in the empire. Nice to see them working this big game tonight. Rubicino all the way up and under. Doral right there, and he can't finish. And then Doral fouls Tucker. Yeah, Doral had an opportunity there, but Tucker came up with it. Rubicino got all the way under the basket, but just not far enough to flip it back up. He just kind of threw it up there, and Doral was Johnny on the spot, but not been able to put it back in. And, uh, and then Tucker came up with the, uh, the rebound, so. Full court pressure here by Cardinal Newman. Just under two minutes and a half, Dave, and it's only a four-point basketball game. Yeah, and I think the score is down in the, the neighborhood where Newman would like it. You don't want a 60, 70-point game when you're playing Windsor, and there's Parker Kennedy with an easy basket. If the double comes on you, somebody's open. And that was a great look right there. Kennedy go right to the front of the basket, receive the pass, and lay it in. Rubicino, just a little off the mark, showing a little rust. 120 to go here in the first half. A six-point lead for the Windsor Jags, trying to hang on to the top-ranked spot in the YSN365.com rankings. Get sole possession of first place and do it on the road. McCarthy with a steal momentarily, but Gabe Knight ends up with the ball and a chance for a three-point play. How do you like that? Yeah, that was a nice nice drive to the basket. He was under control. I, it really looked close. Kennedy almost touched the rim as the ball was going in. Let's see how close his hand was to it. Almost touched the rim. It was almost goaltending. I don't know if he did or not. I couldn't see from this angle, but, but he can get up. There's no doubt about it. So far, Windsor's success has been coming. I mean, they made the first two threes, but getting to the basket is where they've been most successful. Cut off of a, a pick. Drive to the basket, look for the open guy cutting to the, to the basket and give him the basketball. Nine point lead for Windsor now. Big possession right here for Newman as they try to get the momentum back. They were pulling close, they got to within two. Now they trail by nine. 
Baker's had the hot hand so far in this contest for Cardinal Newman. Let's see if he'll come off a pick and be open. They are trying to work him back outside off the screen, but Gabe Knight fights through it. Baker does get a look. A little strong. They get another possession. Now I gotta wonder if they'll hang on for the final shot. Looks like they will as the shot clock is now off. Yeah, prime example of long shots, long rebounds. That ball came back out, and it was a great job tracking it down by Cardinal Newman. Ten seconds to go. Baker guarded by Gabe Knight. Tries to flip it outside, but somehow ends up with the ball. Finally, it's the Jags who come up with it. Seth Doolittle now, and he won't get that off in time. Wow, Windsor almost had an easy basket at the other end, but the Cardinals scrapping, hanging in there. It's Windsor by nine at the half. Yeah, Windsor seems to score in bunches. When they started out the game, they were hot. They were up 10 to four, and then it was 21 to 18, and then they went on an 8-2 run. And uh, this is a team that's explosive on the offensive end. They do a great job of getting, getting after you on the defensive end. Um, I just think that they did a great job offensively cutting to the basket. And I thought Carl Newman did a pretty good job for most of it until the very end of that half, holding them, uh, holding them down on their scoring. 29-20 here at the half. We'll take a break right here. Be back with some halftime entertainment. The highlights of the first half of play and the start of quarter number three all coming up here in just a moment on YSN365.com. At George Peterson Insurance, we support the communities we serve and live in. You'll find us helping out at the Boys and Girls Club and Sonoma Humane Society, collecting food for the Redwood Empire Food Bank and more. It's our goal to make our neighborhoods a better place. We're invested in your success. For over 75 years, George Peterson Insurance has been serving our communities and customers with top-notch service and competitive pricing. Find out what we have to offer. George Peterson Insurance, we've got your back. My wife and I were stranded after suffering our second flat tire on a hot August day. Our three horses were thirsty and there was no help in sight. We called Les Schwab and luckily Justin answered the phone. Les Schwab Tire Center. Even though it was after closing. Justin came to our rescue. He drove an hour with tires and even brought water for our horses. We'll never buy tires anywhere else. Take care now. I'm Larry Butler and that's my Les Schwab story. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3, and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply, delivering quality for over 40 years. Wild California, featuring the crispiest, crunchiest, most delicious, and healthy snack around. Watch out, potato chips. Things are about to get wild. Available in Sonoma County at Oliver's Market, G&G, &G, and Molesberries. One Saturday night, someone went through town slashing tires. Sunday morning, one of Andy Spencer's customers at Les Schwab went to Andy's house to see if he could help. You got it. Andy got in his truck and drove up and down the streets, helping anyone who needed it. He worked at it pretty hard most of the day. That's all of them. Andy didn't tell anybody no. He really went above and beyond his duties as a manager and a neighbor. I'm James Hamilton, and that's my Les Schwab story. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3, and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite.
For AAU basketball at its best, it's Express Basketball Club, the place for young players to learn the fundamentals and advanced skills for high school and beyond. Kerry Heiner has been helping local student athletes develop strength and speed for sports performance for over 20 years. If you're trying to get to the next level for club, varsity, college, or pro sports, contact Kerry Heiner now at 583-5720. Real results, real fast. Looking to buy or sell Wine Country Ranch and Vineyard property? Vice Properties, with over 75 years of combined experience, can make it happen. Vice Properties specializes in North Bay Ranch and Vineyard properties with in-depth local knowledge and relationships unparalleled in Wine Country. Vice Properties can also help with commercial, investment, and residential properties. We know the market. Let us help you get the best deal possible. Call Vice Properties today or go to viceproperties.com. California, featuring the crispiest, crunchiest, most delicious, and healthy snack around. Watch out, potato chips. Things are about to get wild. Available in Sonoma County at Oliver's Market, G&G, &G, and Molesberries. Twenty nine twenty here at the half. It is Windsor leading Cardinal Newman. Nice little surge at the end of that second quarter for Windsor. 
and uh, they did it with their defense. And then uh, Gabe Knight, who was just hot throughout the entire uh, second quarter, a leading scorer for the Jags. Well, the, the Jaguars score in bunches, Dave. They do it from outside on the three-point shot right there by, uh, by Johnson there. That was to start out the first quarter. And then Tucker made one, and then there's Knight getting to the basket. He had 14 points in that first half. He did a fantastic job cutting to the basket, receiving the ball. There's Kennedy off the drive. He had six as well in the first half. Tucker also hit some outside shots. He ended up with six points as well. But there's Gabe Knight getting to the basket. And the big thing is he made his free throws. He got the free throw line four times, knocked every single one of those down. They did a good job driving to the basket, getting the ball, and laying it in and making their free throws. We, we know they can shoot the ball from the outside, but I, I really like them getting to the basket in this particular contest because Cardinal Newman doesn't have a shot blocker on the inside. There's the one basket that Connor Rubitino made in the first half. He was only one for seven in the first half. I'd like to see him, um, if he doesn't come up with the hot hand here in the second half, get it in the hands of Doolittle or Baker. Baker had nine points in that first half, and he was the hot hand for Cardinal Newman. There was his next outside shot. I love that fake there. He faked the three. Went to drive it and then drained it anyway. And then Dude a little off the drive can get inside and work the ball around. I'd like to see him work inside a little bit more. And that was a great pass by Cardinal Newman. They did a good job on the defensive end. They held the Jaguars to 29. That's about their season average. So uh, Cardinal Newman's going to have to do a little bit better job. They held Windsor to only 11 points in the second quarter. If they can do that here in the third and score the ball a little better, I think they have a good chance to win this basketball game. Turnovers were even at four apiece in the first half. Rebounding edge goes to Windsor, 12 to five in that first half. There's Chase Knowles with the steal, and he misses the lay-in, oh my goodness. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes you just get a little too casual because you know you made the steal, you're wide open, and maybe he just blew his concentration, but uh, a break for Cardinal Lumina. Backdoor cut, Rubitino flips it back up top. Doolittle, nice pump fake. Gets Kennedy in the air, but doesn't get the finish. He will go to the free throw line. Yeah, I, I like the idea of getting Doolittle involved on the offensive end. He has the skills, he can shoot the ball from outside. If you're sitting around watching him here at halftime, he's draining the ball left and right from outside the three-point arc, so he can get it done outside. Seth Doolittle, and look at that beautiful stroke he's got. Beautiful free throw stroke. Had a great Sonoma County Classic Tournament. Misses the second. Gabe Knight leads the team in scoring, 14 points and rebounding at five. Chase Knowles in the corner. Partially blocked from behind, but Knowles finishes that one up. I bet you Coach Taylor talked to him at halftime and said, you need to penetrate a little bit more, get inside, break down the defense, and create opportunities for everybody else. He went straight to the basket on the last one down there. He's the one guy out there that can really change the game for Windsor if he starts driving and penetrating. Seth Doolittle, nice pump fake, throws that one up, no good. Rebound, Gavin Dove, no. Gabe Knight ends up with the ball. Parker Kennedy, got it. Yeah, it was all about the show and go there. He showed the defender the ball, took it away from him, and went to the hoop and elevated. He can absolutely fly out there. Really good time out there. Look at, watch him show, go, and fly to the hoop and gets the roll. Beautiful move by Kennedy to get to the basket. Great sequence by the Jags. They lead by 12, as advertised. Windsor on the road tonight. Newman has slowed them down a little bit, but they are rocking and rolling now. There's Coach Tom Bonfili. We continue to update. Yeah, Coach Bonfili has had a, an incredible career here coaching at Cardinal Newman. And there he's been at it 34 years, two NorCal titles, up to 713 wins, 14th all time in the CIF, and he's about to pass a couple guys. He'll be moving up to 12 here real soon. See if they can get Baker off the screen here. 
There's Cody Baker, big shot. Boy, did they need that one. Well, he was the leading scorer in the first half. He's got 12 now for Cardinal Newman. And somebody else is going to have to get involved scoring the basketball. Chase Knowles to the rack, close to a charge. But Gavin Dove will get called for the block. Some other games going on at the half. Montgomery leads Maria Creo 25-19. Casa Grande 26, Rancho Catati 12. Girls, Annalee 22, Piner 20. That's at the half. You can find live scoring updates on our Facebook page at YSN365.com on Facebook. Chase Knowles at the free throw line, off the mark. Yeah, you got to make those free throws, but I like Knowles getting to the basket. When he's aggressive like that, he can get inside, draw the defense, draw the double or the triple. He has the athleticism to put the basketball up, but then you got Tucker and Knight and Johnson and Kennedy going to the basket. I mean, I just think it creates a, a really difficult time for any defense playing against them. Knowles doesn't get either free throw. Jalen Doral finds himself wide open and he hits the shot. Yeah, nice looking release, didn't touch the rim at all, just the bottom of the net. Not in there for his scoring, but showing that he can't put the ball in the hoop. Newman needs that, there's Cody Baker with a steal. He's got Kohut out in front, bounces it to him. Kohut up strong and lays it in. Wow, that Great couldn't have been, sequence. Couldn't have been played any better. Great pass off the dribble and the control to be able to lay it in, running full speed like that. That's a hard thing to do. Parker Kennedy, and he's fouled. Newman really trying to ratchet up their defense a little bit. Yeah, they've got to find a way to come up with some steals and some stops. They got to keep a hand in the face. They got to stop the drivers. You got to bring the double when you have to, and um, and just make it really difficult on Winter to score the basketball. Doolittle just picked up his second foul. Rubitino getting set to check back in. They've cut it to five here. They trail by nine at the half. So cut it to five. Kennedy at the line. Parker Kennedy. He has nine points. Remember, Kennedy's so athletic. If he misses a free throw, he'll go for the basket. So you got to make sure that you get a body on him when this ball goes up. And of course, we talked about Rubicino's injury in football season. Kennedy also played football this year and was injured at the beginning of the season. Not as severe, but um, he had to rehab from that. Long pass ahead to Cody Baker. Baker spins and fires, no good. Brent Tucker runs it down. Yeah, Coach Taylor said it really scared him. He hadn't played football before. Ended up just with a little tweak of the knee or something, and uh, he just decided to not play because he's a true basketball player, and that's what he wanted to do. So decided to not continue his football career. Cardinals get a stop, see if they can convert it to points right now. Trailing by seven about midway through this third quarter. Cody Baker for three. Got it. Baker has been the man, 15 points now. For Cody Baker all off the bench. I am so impressed by Baker tonight. He's been just the hot hand out on the floor and keeping Cardinal Newman in this basketball game. Super impressive. There's Parker Kennedy. Offensive foul call. Rubitino takes the charge. There's some experience for you. Get down, get position. That was a pretty hard hit and a great defense. Got to be willing to take that hit. And while we're talking about guys who got hurt during football season, we got to mention Cody Baker because he was injured at the very beginning of the football season also. Yeah, and the other, we really haven't spoke of Damian Wallace either, who was a super sophomore last year uh, on this basketball team, this Cardinal Newman basketball team, and uh, hurt himself in football and won't play at all this season. Yeah, very last game of the year, playoff game against, against Marin Catholic. Trevin Anderson, Soria, no good. McCarthy tries to save it, but he swatted it a little too hard. And we got to take care of that basketball out there, especially he cut it to four. 
trailed by nine at the half. The thing you have to stop Windsor from doing, though, is going on runs because once they get in the rhythm, they can shoot the ball from outside, they get to the basket off the cuts. Uh, this is a team that can score in bunches. Well, four-point game. Newman has chipped away at the lead once again. Tucker spins. No good. Big rebound by Connor Rubicino. Great look by Tucker, though. That was a really good look. Rubicino trailing. Fires up the three. Doesn't quite get it. This place would have erupted if he'd have hit that one. 35-31 Windsor. Gabe Knight down the lane. Bumped. Misses both shots. Roberts almost threw an elbow right there. Wow. Yeah, that was a little bit of a clear out there on Smith. But um, Rubicino decides I'll go all the way with this. No good. There's Tucker. He's just struggled scoring. Uh, it's just that it's just the fitness, and you haven't played as much as you'd like to, and uh, you just don't have the same rhythm if you're not playing all the time. All the way to the rack, no good. Riley Smith knocks it out. That was Kane Santos. I think he ended up being a lot more open down that left side than he thought he was going to be. Yeah, and just went and flipped it up, but just didn't get it to fall down. Looked to me like there were a lot of three-point shooters open on that particular drive. A draw and a kick to an open Knight, Johnson, Tucker. Those guys shoot high percentage from outside. Another key sequence of the game and a travel. Six turnovers now by Cardinal Newman. Cardinals have certainly challenged. They pulled it within four here. It looked like Windsor might pull away. Not the case. A lot of basketball to go here at the John Fitzgerald. Windsor, the top ranked team in the Redwood Empire. Oh, watch 33. Tapped away by McCarthy. McCarthy has got it. And one. Oh, wow, McCarthy, McCarthy. had the steal, the control and fought off the defender, avoided him, and still was able to lay it off softly. What an unbelievable play by Connor McCarthy. You know, last year we saw him make plays like this all season long, and here he is continuing that same effort off the dribble against the defender and laying it in off the glass. It doesn't get any prettier than that. Great defense and getting Cardinal Newman back into this game. They're within two at this point. Offensive rebound. McCarthy gets another shot. No good. That would have been an incredible sequence. Gabe Knight spinning to the rack, and he's fouled. Yeah, Knight is super aggressive. Uh, he was most effective in the first half, scoring down low. In the second half, he's gotten to the basket now. This is second time, and he's a high percentage free throw shooter. Uh, this is the leader of the team, in my opinion. And uh, he could take a game over. This first point of this third quarter. Three point game. Night no good. There's Durrell. Only two field goals for Windsor in this third quarter. Yeah, Cardinal Newman's played some really solid defense. They've switched when they had to, and they've helped on defense when they've had to. Almost stolen from behind. There's Rubicino. Back up top to Kohut. Kohut goes up and gets fouled by Chase Knowles just inside the three-point line. More importantly, that's Chase Knowles' third foul. Yeah, Knowles has been key here in the third quarter for for Windsor getting the basket. I really liked him getting to the basket there early in the third quarter, but uh, seems like they've kind of gone away from that again. Kohut with a nice fake, the double pump, and drawing the foul. Kohut gets one of two. You can just see how hard Cardinal Newman works out on the floor. They're trying to get every rebound. They're trying to block out. Coach Bonfili has got these guys doing a great job out there defensively on this floor. Two-point game. Gabe Knight tries to change that and does. 
clutch shot by Gabe Knight. He has 18 points. And the lead is back up to five. You gotta close this third quarter out strong. You gotta find a way to score the basketball. Rubitino knocked to the floor. Away from the ball. The bucket was scored, but I believe it was after the foul. Coach Montfield is hoping for a flagrant foul call. It was close. So unfortunate for Cardinal Newman because they had scored the bucket down low with Rubicino getting fouled out top. So uh, take away two points. Four fouls on Parker Kennedy. So Kennedy takes a seat. A lot of basketball to play with four fouls. We may not see him for a while. Here comes. Trevin Anderson story over to Rubitino. It's been a while since Rubitino has hit one. He doesn't get this one. Tucker has the rebound. Seven rebounds for Brent Tucker. Yeah, Baker was wide open in the corner down here before they went cross court with that ball to Rubitino. Watch out for Gabe Knight. He's got the hot hand right now. He's been really aggressive off the dribble. Curtis Johnson to Tucker. And Tucker got it and one. Very close to a charge, but Tucker got the call. Yeah, to me it looked like he had just enough control to avoid the major contact, which ended up drawing the foul. Let's see it right there, yep. Yeah, I, I thought the defender slid underneath him just a little bit too late. One of those calls that yeah. makes me glad I'm not an official. Yeah, good. Yeah, a really good effort uh, on the defensive end, but uh, Connor McCarthy has four fouls now. Yep. So a few guys in foul trouble for both teams. Tucker does not complete the three point play. Cardinal Newman had cut it to two. It's back to six, seven, actually. Back to seven points now. So. And they stay within striking distance. I like Baker off of a pick. Rubitino taking him off the dribble and finding Baker. Where's he at? Rubitino no good. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. So Newman once again pulled close. They got to within two. But then it's Windsor pushing it and getting the lead back up to seven should be an interesting final eight minutes here at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium. It is 41 to 34 Windsor after three. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply, delivering quality for over 40 years. My friends and I were driving to the Salt Lake Airport to fly to a music teacher's conference when our tires started going flat. We called the Les Schwab in Ogden, Utah, and they said, Come on in. They were so fast, we didn't even eat the free popcorn. There you go. And we even made our flight. In a world where such great customer service is not always the case, it's nice to know there's Les Schwab. I'm Bonnie Lamborn, and that's my Les Schwab story. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3, and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. Are you searching for a So here we go. Well, I'd really like to be in that huddle with Coach Bonfilia. Rubicino's only made one basket, Dave, and he's taken a couple extras. I wonder, you just can't count that guy out. We've seen so many big shots from him last year. Gabe Knight hits the three. Big basket to start the fourth quarter. And that builds the lead back up to nine. Speaking of big shots, huh? Gabe Knight can make them. You know, and when he shoots that three, it's more like a set shot. So he has almost unlimited range because he can use his legs instead of just do a shoot a jump shot. Yeah. 
Newman's going to hang on to the possession right here. Newman is going to have to be red hot here in the fourth quarter. Baker. Tucker has the rebound. Yeah, if they don't score the ball at a pretty rapid pace or play some fantastic defense, they could, they could be out of this game here in the fourth quarter pretty quick. Gabe Knight's been red hot. Kennedy off the mark. Rebound by Coolis, and he is fouled from behind. Parker Coolis. Yeah, that was a great job, just being right underneath Coolis. Just another one of those seniors. They start five. Coolis is another senior. This is a team that has so much experience playing together, a lot of great chemistry. They've got size. You know, I'd say the one thing that they really don't have on this uh, Windsor team is a, is a big shot blocker inside. Kennedy's athletic, but he's, they don't have a 6'7", six, 6'8", six, guy uh, that can just really intimidate shots if you're driving down the lane. Other than that, they got about everything. There's Cody Baker, nice job by Gabe Knight. Out in front, Tucker. Cardinals try to get back, Doolittle does, and it's a travel. Wow, really good defense in transition. When you can get back like that on a long baseball pass and play solid defense and cause the turnover, that's some tremendous defense. Cardinal Newman doing a great job there in that transition right there. Koha gets it across. Doolittle right down the middle. <laughs> nice ball gonna, movement there by the Cardinals. They're going to press you in the backcourt, and you, they bring a double, then somebody's going to be open. The ball's traveling faster than the man does, so hit ahead, try to get some, some numbers going to the basket. Curtis Johnson, a little off the mark. Okay, Baker's had the hot hand, Doolittle is, can get to the basket. And you got to get to the offensive glass, too, if there's a miss. Big possession, Baker gets it into the corner. Kohut comes up short, Coolis has the rebound. Long outlet goes to Tucker. Gabe Knight, nice little hesitation move in the left-handed lay-in. 23 points now for Gabe Knight. He's just really good. <laughs> He's just really good out there. Wow, nice drive. It was left-handed. Connor, Trevin Anderson, Soria underneath. Nice, easy basket for Newman, but they got to get a stop. Chase Knowles. Offensive foul call. Is it? No, it's a block. And I'm not sure. I know Knowles can get up, though. He took it to the basket. No, his, aggr yeah, his aggressiveness in the second half has been really good for Windsor. And uh, as this season progresses, I imagine that he's going to learn and recognize how important that is. And then you get a draw, a drive, draw, and kick. You get to the basket. You get free throws. And he's so fast off the dribble, off, off that first step, it's hard to get in front of him. So he can take you either way, too. Thought for a moment they had called a charging foul. Knowles is one of three from the free throw line. Three points total on the night. Yeah, we were talking to Coach Taylor before the game, and he asked who his guards were in the backcourt. And he says, well, we just kind of have all basketball players. Nobody's really really a guard or a forward or anything they can all play yeah you can either call them uh yeah. four guards or yeah. four forwards you know either yeah. way you want to look at it i would say kennedy's definitely a forward but other than that everybody else is uh, able to kind of do both yes yes and they're up by 10 points here 450 to go cardinal newman's not out of it but they are going to have to score the basketball baker's been the hot hand look for the back cuts underneath the basket Cody Baker, no good. Chase Knowles with the rebound. Here comes Gabe Knight, look out. Gets it into the corner, Brent. 
Tucker. That's a three. There's that drive, draw, and kick right there. Biggest lead of the night. Coach Bonfili takes a timeout. It's a full, so we'll take a break ourselves as the Winter Jaguars get out and run the floor. Brent Tucker sticks the three. We'll be back with more. 51-38, Windsor. Fitzgerald. Jack Fitzgerald. Searching for a great high school experience, Cardinal Newman is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts, and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org. California, featuring the crispiest, crunchiest, most delicious and healthy snack around. Watch out, potato chips. Things are about to get wild. Available in Sonoma County at Oliver's Market, G&G, &G, and Molesberries. So, Bob Feely takes a timeout right there, trailing by 13, sensing things starting to unravel just a little bit on the Cardinals. They have fought hard tonight. But Windsor with so much firepower. Cardinals just have not been able to find a hot hand in the second half. And you know what? A lot of tough calls out there on the floor tonight. A lot of close charges or, or not. Officials done a great job tonight. Underneath, a little bump. Brad Morato, who just checked in. Yeah, just riding into the baseline, definitely picking up the foul. Morato's a very good outside shooter. I think Coach Bonfili is trying to find somebody who can maybe hit a couple threes and get the Cardinals back in this game. Either team's going to be in the bonus on the next foul. Both teams have six in this second half. Underneath McCarthy, there's Trevin Anderson. Soria! 11-point game. Four minutes nice to go. Release there. Nice shot. They, they've got to find a way to score the ball somehow. Beautiful shot. Parker Kennedy getting set to check back in. Remember, he's got four personal fouls. Let's see how long he can hang in there. Gabe Knight taking their time. First time we've really seen Windsor kind of say, all right, we've got a double digit yeah. lead. Let's milk it a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think you got to be careful of slowing it down too much. Gabe Knight. Oh, my. What a shot. As the shot clock expired, 25 points now for Gabe Knight. Unless, of course, you have Gabe Knight shooting fadeaways, huh? With a hand in his face. Kohut around the screen, back up to Connor Rubitino. Just so often in a game where you have the lead, you slow it down, you play, you know, to slow the momentum down. And wide open, Connor McCarthy. And things change. Nice pass from Rubitino. Again, the double team. Came to him and he realized and found Connor McCarthy wide open. They got to come up with some steals and stops right now. And if Knight's going to just handle the ball out here on the perimeter, I think you got to bring a double at him. You can't let him just sit there and burn the clock. Shot clock down to 15. They could milk this down near 220. Tucker, a little bit strong, long rebound ends up in the hands of Connor. McCarthy, big possession right here for Newman. They try to get the lead under double digits. Working around, look for Baker or the open shot. Soria. Yeah. And it's going to be Windsor's ball. That was a tough break. He was open underneath. Just a reaching hand got that ball knocked out of bounds. I'll tell you what, despite a lot of intense pressure, both teams have done a pretty good job of taking care of the basketball. And Newman takes yet another timeout. 2-10 to go, 53-42. Windsor by 11 over Newman. We'll take a break right here and be back with the conclusion of tonight's game here on YSN365.com. For AAU basketball at its best, it's Express Basketball Club, the place for young players to learn the fundamentals and advanced skills for high school and beyond. 
Carrie Heiner has been helping local student athletes develop strength and speed for sports performance for over 20 years. If you're trying to get to the next level for club, varsity, college, or pro sports, contact Carrie Heiner now at 583-5720. Real results, real fast. So 2.10 to go, Cardinal Newman cheerleaders holding on to hope that the Cardinals can come back. Windsor trying to take over sole possession of first place in the NBL. And again, it's been a long time since somebody other than Newman or Montgomery won this league. Piner was the last one to win it outright. That was in 2005. And Brent Tucker takes a quick timeout. They had trouble getting the ball inbound. Yeah, good defense so by Cardinal Newman there in the full court. Remember, each team has six fouls, so the next foul by either team is going to put the other opposing team in into the bonus. So uh, if you're Coach Taylor here and you're talking to your guys, you're saying, get the ball inbounds, secure it, don't turn it over, get into the front court, run a little clock, put it in the hands of Knight, Tucker, Knowles, whoever, and uh, just don't turn it over. Try to get an easy basket as you're running down the clock. Uh, on the other hand, if you're Cardinal Newman, and your, your coach Bonfili in there. Uh, you just have to try to fight back. You trail by 11 points with 2.10 to go in the fourth quarter. You're going to have to come up with some steals and probably make some threes or at least get some three-point shots. Other scores going on right now. Casa Grande 44, Rancho Catati 24. That game is at the end of three. Montgomery 39, Maria Creel 23. The Vikings under Zach Tiedemann doing a nice job. And that game after three. Here's Annalee and Piner, a girls game after three, 32 to 24. Annalee by eight, and Santa Rosa led Ukiah 25-21 at the half. That's the last scoring update we've got from that one. Joe Pasquini hard at work posting those scores at YSN365.com on Facebook. Here we go, final 210, Windsor by 11. Cardinals need a flurry. I think you got to bring a double. There it is. Gabe Knight, not in a hurry to shoot. Shot clock down to 15. Knight takes the shot and hits it. 27 points. He hasn't missed much tonight, no. I'll tell you what. Well, he's been impressive tonight. He's controlled this basketball game. Into the corner, Murado. There's Rubitino. Just can't quite get it to go. There's Knowles. Ruben Knowles has four rebounds. His dad coaches at El Molino. Kind of interesting. So he doesn't get to see his son play a whole lot. Although I think they are off tonight. SCL girls are in action tonight. They stagger the Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday between the two leagues. Tucker, right wing, guarded by Cody Baker. Parker Kennedy, no good. Someone's going to have to start playing with a sense of urgency. There's a steal by Curtis Johnson, and Seth Doolittle is called for a flagrant foul. Trying to stop Kennedy from going down and dunking on him, which he did. However, it's going to mean two free throws and the ball back for the Jags with under a minute to go. Yeah, under a minute. Very, very unlikely that uh, Cardinal Newman's going to come back in this basketball game. But I will say this. You can see the defensive effort out on the floor. Uh, they gave it their all out here tonight. Uh, you know, if Rubatino would have hit even close to what he normally does from shooting from the outside, uh, they would be in this game, if not ahead. Um, so uh, I'm looking forward to the next matchup. Kind of interesting night for Curtis Johnson. He hit his very first shot of the night, which was a three. That free throw that he just hit, the, the next basket for him all night long. So he hit one in the first minute and then a free throw in the last minute. Wide open, Parker Kennedy, look out. There it is. The exclamation point for the Jags. Right in front of their crowd who are decked out in camouflage tonight. Foul that time. It's gonna put Capuno at the free throw line. Nate Capuno who is just a freshman. 
out of Rinkin Valley Middle School. Man, here was Kennedy. I think we've got that uh, on replay. There's the pass inside over the top. What a great look. And then Kennedy elevating and throwing it down for Windsor. Capuro missed the first one. Kid who has a lot of potential left hand. He's going to get a lot taller, too. Yeah, very, very, very talented. It's hard to be a freshman and play at the varsity level. Oh, my gosh. Very tough. Well, for Windsor, they play Costa Grande on the 15th coming up. And then they got Montgomery on the 19th. And uh, for Cardinal Newman, they got Maria, uh, Ukiah next on the 15th, Maria Creel. And then the matchup between these two teams again is going to be on February 2nd. Mark that on your calendar. That'll be a good one. And you know, Windsor, after this one tonight, is thinking, let's run the table. You know, they'll say, oh, we want to play one game at the time and all that stuff. But, you know, the, the league, let's face it, the league is not as strong this year as it has been the last couple of years. And with their strength, I think it's very realistic that they could go undefeated this year. Yeah, you just play. can't overlook it. And you can't fall in love with the three-point shot too much. you got to continue to drive to the basket like Knowles did tonight. I like what Gabe Knight did, and I like what Knowles did getting to the basket. Uh, it really changed the game for them. That's a recipe for success for them in the near future. That is their final, 58-44. Kind of a crazy last sequence under the Windsor basket, but they did not score. So Cardinal Lumen fought hard, give them credit. But uh, Windsor, this is a good basketball team. And in order to beat them, you're going to have to, to hit your shots and play great defense. I'd say the, the Cardinal Lumen played great defense most of the night they did not hit all their shots. No, but uh, Windsor went on a couple runs. They actually cut it to two points in the second half. And then Windsor went on a run, Gabe Knight down the middle, Knowles controlling, getting to the basket, and Tucker hit the outside shot as well. Uh, they just had an all-around great team effort. And for Cardinal Newman, you know, a really good effort, a hard-fought game, just not enough offensive punch out there on the floor to compete with Windsor tonight. So there's your final score, 58-44, but do not go away. We will be back with our player of the game interview coming up next here on YSN365.com. Are you searching for a great high school experience? Cardinal Newman is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts, and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org. California, featuring the crispiest, crunchiest, most delicious, and healthy snack around. Watch out, potato chips. Things are about to get wild. Available in Sonoma County at Oliver's Market, G&G, &G, and Molesberries. One Saturday night, someone went through town slashing tires. Sunday morning, one of Andy Spencer's customers at Les Schwab went to Andy's house to see if he could help. You got it. Andy got in his truck and drove up and down the streets, helping anyone who needed it. He worked at it pretty hard most of the day. That's all of them. Andy didn't tell anybody no. He really went above and beyond his duties as a manager and a neighbor. I'm James Hamilton, and that's my Les Schwab story. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3 and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. For AAU basketball at its best, it's Express Basketball Club, the place for young players to learn the fundamentals and advanced skills for high school and beyond. Kerry Heiner has been helping local student athletes develop strength and speed for sports performance for over 20 years. If you're trying to get to the next level for club, varsity, college, or pro sports, contact Kerry Heiner now at 583-5720. Real results, real fast. 
Looking to buy or sell Wine Country Ranch and Vineyard property? Vice Properties, with over 75 years of combined experience, can make it happen. Vice Properties specializes in North Bay Ranch and Vineyard properties with in-depth local knowledge and relationships unparalleled in Wine Country. Vice Properties can also help with commercial, investment, and residential properties. We know the market. Let us help you get the best deal possible. Call Vice Properties today or go to viceproperties.com. At George Peterson Insurance, we support the communities we serve and live in. You'll find us helping out at the Boys and Girls Club and Sonoma Humane Society, collecting food for the Redwood Empire Food Bank, and more. It's our goal to make our neighborhoods a better place. We are invested in your success. For over 75 years, George Peterson Insurance has been serving our communities and customers with top-notch service and competitive pricing. Find out what we have to offer. George Peterson Insurance, we've got your back. My wife and I were stranded after suffering our second flat tire on a hot August day. Our three horses were thirsty and there was no help in sight. We called Les Schwab and luckily Justin answered the phone. Les Schwab Tire Center. Even though it was after closing. Justin came to our rescue. He drove an hour with tires and even brought water for our horses. We'll never buy tires anywhere else. Take care now. I'm Larry Butler and that's my Les Schwab story. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3 and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. Welcome back. Final score, 58-44, Windsor over Cardinal Newman. And a no-brainer tonight for our player of the game, Gabe Knight, who poured in 27 points for the Windsor Jaguars. Had a tremendous game, real steady all night long. And uh, also had nine rebounds. Uh, just a great performance all around. Tell us about how it was like out there battling Cardinal Newman tonight. Cardinal Newman. Um, I mean, it was a battle. I mean, this is the second time we beat them since my freshman year. I mean, it's always a good feeling to come in and uh, play good against them. So, yeah, it's a great feeling. You guys have a lot of firepower. You have a lot of weapons. What, but you're the leading scorer. What do you feel like you need to do in order to kind of keep control of the game and score when you need to when your team really needs it the most? Um, I just feel like I need to be a leader, you know. And uh, if I need to score, then I need a bucket. But I haven't really had to do that much this year. We, like you said, we have a lot of firepower. So, usually just pass and see what happens. You knew Cardinal Newman was going to come out here and try to make things difficult on you guys. What did they do to try to disrupt your rhythm and take you out of your flow of the game? Um, they tried to deny me all over the court, which I expected, but, I mean, I'm used to it. So. You guys played great defense tonight, but you weren't really able to get out and run a lot until the very end when Parker got that big slam. How cool was that to see him throw that down in front of the – in front of the crowd here at Cardinal Newman with your crowd going crazy over there. Uh, it's, a, it's always a cool feeling seeing someone else dunk. I mean, pumps up the crowd, pumps those up, uh, gives us a lift. So. so, Gabe, as a leader on the team out here, there you're driving to the basket, and you made a high percentage from the free throw line tonight too. But how do you decide out on the floor when you're going to try to take that three, try to get open for the three, or take control and drive to the basket and try to get inside? Um... I don't know. I just let the game come to me, and uh, what's open is open, and that's what I shoot. So, we were caught speaking to Coach Taylor prior to the game, and uh, and Coach says to us, he says, we don't really have any guards out on the floor or forwards. It's all basketball players. Yeah. I mean, you guys have been playing for a while. You got five seniors. Tell us about the camaraderie on this team. I mean, we're always together. I mean, always going to eat as a team, and I think that brings us together a lot better than most teams. And I mean, we've been. We've been through some tough losses last year and tough losses this year, and I think it just brings us closer together as a team. We did your games last year as well. What's the difference this year between last year's team? Because you guys were talented last year, but it seems like you just have a little bit different edge this year. Um, I think it's confidence. Also, we got uh, Curtis back, which is a big boost. And uh, we've just come together more. You know, like we know how to play together as a team, I'd say, better than we did last year. Super impressive. 
How big was this win for you guys in order to kind of uh, establish yourselves? Everybody knew you were the favorites coming in, which is kind of a little responsibility and different, right? It's always yeah. Newman and Montgomery. Yeah. But last time anybody besides those two teams won this league was 2005. How big was it for you guys tonight to say, yeah, we are the favorites and we're comfortable with that and, and to pull out this win? Um, I think it just puts like a – I mean, it sets, it sets the stage for the rest of the league and uh, – I think that's what we needed. We needed a big win to show that we have the, the dominance and that we've worked this hard to get here. So, And what are your goals as a team? I talked about it just toward the end of the game, but I think it's realistic for you guys, and I know you're going to say take it one game at a time, but I think running the table is a realistic thing. Is that any kind of a goal that you guys have set for yourselves, or, or what do you guys I mean, think you can do? Um, we've set a goal to win NBL, but we just have to take it, as you said, one game at a time and see how it goes. And I think it will come out good if we keep working hard and – Keep playing like we play. So. Right on. Well, Gabe, congratulations on the win tonight. We have a T-shirt for you, Player of the Game T-shirt from Sonoma Design Apparel. Know you're right. going to enjoy that. Congratulations right. on the you. win tonight. We look forward to seeing you again real soon. All right. Thank you. Great job. Thank 27 you. points, nine rebounds. That's great. Right. Nice Thank performance. You. All right. Gabe Knight, our Player of the Game, 27 points, nine rebounds. Windsor with a 58 to 44 win. Now. People are going to look at that uh, score tomorrow, Ronnie, and they're going to say, oh, pretty easy win for Windsor. But uh, you said it best. Hey, you know, Newman was within two points at one point in the third quarter. This is a lot tougher game. But I think the fact that it was a tough game and Windsor still won by 14 tells you how good the Jaguars really are. Yeah, Newman cut it to two in the second half. Uh, Jaguars jumped out in the first half, that first quarter, to an 18 to 12 lead, and then it was 29 to 20 at the half. And then Cardinal Newman came on with the defensive end. They were holding uh, the Jaguars scoreless there for a little while. They cut it to two points, and then the Jaguars went on a run. I mean, this is what these guys do: they put pressure on you, they run the full court, and they have the ability to shoot the outside shot. And Gabe Knight comes up with 27 points. I mean, what an impressive performance, including the nine rebounds as well. All right, well, great job by the crew tonight, as always, bringing you this game live. And the Big Heroes are sponsors who stepped up to make this happen. It is not easy, and it takes a lot of guys, and it takes a lot of equipment, and our sponsors are the ones that actually make this happen. We'd love to do more live games like this for the rest of the season. So if you're a business owner, marketing manager, somebody out there that you want to support high school sports and help us to do more live games like this, please give us a call and make it happen. That's uh, for the kids, for our community, and it's a lot of fun. Oh, I love doing the basketball games. It's great to be here. Of course, you know, I drive down from Lake Tahoe to these games, and it's just uh, it's a pleasure to be down here, and uh, I just love coming down here for YSN. It's a lot of fun, Dave. Right on. Contact information is on the website, ysn365.com. For our director, Brian Lees, our replay director, Martin Kornfeld, and all of us here at ysn365.com, I'm Dave Cox saying goodnight from the John Fitzgerald. Once again, the final score, Windsor 58. Newman 44, the Jags are all alone in first place in the NBL. Good night, everybody. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply, delivering quality for over 40 years. My friends and I were driving to the Salt Lake Airport to fly to a music teacher's conference when our tires started going flat. We called the Les Schwab in Ogden, Utah, and they said, Come on in. They were so fast, we didn't even need the free popcorn. There you go. And we even made our flight. In a world where such great customer service is not always the case, it's nice to know there's Les Schwab. I'm Bonnie Lamborn, and that's my Les Schwab story. Les Schwab, doing the right thing since 1952. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3 and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 national qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. Are you searching for a great high school experience? Cardinal Newman is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported 
during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts, and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org. For AAU basketball at its best, it's Express Basketball Club, the place for young players to learn the fundamentals and advanced skills for high school and beyond. Terry Heiner has been helping local student athletes develop strength and speed for sports performance for over 20 years. If you're trying to get to the next level for club, varsity, college, or pro sports, contact Terry Heiner now at 583-5720. Real results, real fast. Looking to buy or sell Wine Country Ranch and Vineyard property? Vice Properties, with over 75 years of combined experience, can make it happen. Vice Properties specializes in North Bay Ranch and Vineyard properties with in-depth local knowledge and relationships unparalleled in Wine Country. Vice Properties can also help with commercial, investment, and residential properties. We know the market. Let us help you get the best deal possible. Call Vice Properties today or go to viceproperties.com.